Well, how do you like it? There's only one word for it. Terrific. <laughs> very original, unique. Well, the, the show itself is a homage to Daphne Aram, who was one of the early pioneers of electronic music. She created her own synthesizer back in the sort of um, late 50s, early 60s, and did a, had a really big impact on electronic music technology. And when we heard about her, we were quite surprised that we hadn't heard about her given that we'd been studying and working in the industry sometimes. So we really wanted to explore, you know, who were some of those other female pioneers that just haven't really been remembered in the course of history. And we just wanted to acknowledge them and look at those issues around, you know, around women's work, essentially, like, because we've been finding that whether it's in the laboratory or the studio or whether it's in the kitchen, it feels like women's work is not really being acknowledged as fully and represented as well as it could be. So what are you going to see when they come to the show tonight? Well, people are going to see some ironing, for sure, a little bit of washing, some drying, a lot of lights, projections, electronic music. We have irons that we've turned into instruments and ironing boards, and a little bit of dancing, if you go. Yeah. So, how does it actually work with the irons? So you, you're just using the irons with electronics coming in as well, or how, how does the music? So some of the irons are like a synthesizer. I have one that I play, sort of, you know, like you can play melodies sort of on it. Um, some of the, like the ironing boards have sensors and, that trigger the samples and the sounds that we've collected from irons and ironing boards and washing machines and sewing machines. And then some of the other irons, you know, we have like a filter effect, like, like you would see on a DJ booth, you know, filters, where you can pull the bass right out and drop it back in. And yeah, we have a lot of fun with creating some crazy instruments and working out how far we can go with them. And what's been the best experience on the, <laughs> on the road so Look, far? I, yeah, I think the best experience on the road so far has just been meeting all the people in the laundromat. The laundromat owners have all been spectacular, such characters. You know, they've got great stories about the community and, you know, things that happen inside the laundromat. It's been quite interesting. So if you get the opportunity, I would chat to a laundromateur, um, you know, in your town. Um, as an educator of uh, music and music technology, I see a lot of men in my classrooms, I see a lot of men in the industry, and I'm often, um, you know, met with a lot of uh, you know, resistance and trouble, you know, from being the only woman often in, in the work that I do. So I really feel that it's um, the message that we're conveying is really important to encourage the next generation of female producers, female technologists, because I don't believe that women are any less um, capable or able, and in, in fact more so, I believe. So, um, so I, I believe it's really important that we're doing this work sort of so that women can see other women being technical, being funny, being ironic, paying homage, you know, having a creative piece that's sort of, you know, trying to foster inclusivity and, you know, yeah, promote the next generation of producers. Do you want to tell us about the workshops? <laughs> yeah, the workshop today, um, we're doing a workshop as an introduction to Ableton Live. It's the music making software that we use to create our show. Um, so we want to give participants a bit of an introduction to the software, a little bit of um, an introduction to songwriting inside the software, a little bit of recording, um, some playing around on some of the instruments that we have, and a little bit of fun as well. Sounds good. So yeah, most people who come to the workshops, have they had any experience or is this brand new? Yeah, we don't expect them to have any experience. We sort of start from the ground up. Um, we sort of found, find that people, you know, have a little, some people have a little bit of experience, some people have a lot of experience, some people have none. Um, and generally the participants seem to help each other out. So if, you know, if you've had a bit more experience, you'll help the person next to you, you know, sort of get through those sort of tricky bits. So you can help out we're in Armadale tonight, then we're headed to Jubbo, Griffith, Wagga Wagga, Wollongong, Newcastle and Belgium. And our tour has been
been funded by the Australian Council in Create New South Wales. Woo! So we were here the other night performing and we had the ironing board set up here. You did? There were, you know, LED lighting strips in the in the machines. There was some drying actually happening, people's loads. Customers' loads. What did you think about it? <laughs> I thought it was a fantastic use of the space. I had never seen this laundromat look so good <laughs> and so different. And I, it made me so glad that when you contacted me and asked, I said yes straight away. My knee jerk was, yes, of course, of course. Um, I don't think spaces should just be used for their purpose. You know, why? Why, why should a laundromat only ever be a laundromat when it could be a concert venue? And, yeah. uh, and, you, and you proved it beautifully. So it yeah. was lovely, lovely to have you. And it was great to see um, the space put to good use and for such a good purpose as well and, and to help you girls um, along the way. It's really a pleasure. Yeah. And I think it's also really nice for the people that um, mm. walk by and mm. see a space used in a different way. And ultimately, how many people can say that they've been to a concert in a laundromat? We can all say that we've been to a concert, but have you been to a concert in a laundromat? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. <laughs> so that, that is a lovely story to be able to tell. Yeah. And so people leave here and they become storytellers about what they've seen and what they've experienced, yeah. which yeah. I think is really nice because it creates those conversations and it might make other people think, well, why are we doing things the same old way just because that's the way it's always been done? You know, maybe let's just change venues Making a little some bit. Making change. Yes, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. I think that's great. Making some change. Absolutely. Fair change for the machine. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of it? Well, we were amazed by the number of people who turned up and we loved the, the costumes and uh, the fact that the locals were so excited. I mean, we had our chairs outside and uh, we, we couldn't really hear her outside. But, um, what do you think, Pete? Oh, that was a great show. Excellent uh, production. Oh. Have you ever had anything like this at the laundry mat before? Never, never had anything <laughs> like this at the laundry mat before. <laughs> but people are ringing up and, and asking questions and they're going, like, it's really in the laundromat. Yes, it's really in the laundromat. Come down and have a look, because you're not going to see this. You're not going to see it very often anyway. For sure. mm. So make the most of what's here. I was curious, so I made a few inquiries. I thought, yeah, why not? Let's give it a go. I think Wollongong sometimes gets a reputation of a bit staid, but actually we're not. Yeah. We welcome everybody, and I really enjoyed tonight. It was yeah. fantastic. Yeah. I really, really did. Oh, good. What was, what was the kind of key things that jumped out at you about it? Um, just the philosophy behind it. It's almost taking the mickey at the same time, which I love. We're here with Deb from White and Bright Laundrette in Dubbo. Deb, we um, haven't actually set up yet here tonight for the Ani Maidens. Do you have any kind of ideas or thoughts on what you think might happen tonight? A lot of fun. A lot of fun? A lot of fun? Because it was great when I called you and you were so into it straight away, which was yeah. cool. What, what made you interested in it? Just something different. Yeah. Just something different. Yes. Yeah. People think laundries are boring places. Right. We actually have a lot of time in here. Yeah, right, cool. A lot cool. of laughing giggles for we're A lot of laughing. laughing. Yeah. Yeah. I heard you on the radio and that was it. I went, oh, I thought about that. Oh, I heard you on the radio. Yeah. Hey, yes. that's great. Yes. And what did you think of this setup in here? Love it. I want to know all the ins and outs of the technology. Yep, yep. What did you think of this show? Awesome. I, 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 just, I just put some feedback for you there. I oh, thought it was fabulous. Great. great. It was excellent. You should have been here for our art lens. Um, festival. festival last year. What did you think of the show? I loved it. I loved it. I was pleasantly surprised. I don't know what I expected, but it was very good. So you did very well. Thank you great. so much. Really That's enjoyed great. it. She's like, oh, we're going to this thing. And I'm like, okay. And then I turn up here and I'm like, this is cool. <laughs> this is different. I like it. Great. What did you think of the show? So you... It was awesome. Yeah. It was great. Because it's not like, you know, mainstream stuff. It's, I don't know. That makes me sound like a pretentious hipster, no, but no, I loved great. it. <laughs> and uh, what do you think about I'm good. Like, oh, do you, do I think know? gender roles are BS. I myself identify as agender, so yes. you know, um, I think gender, gender roles, all of it is just a social construct, and I think women, men, anyone in between or out of the binary should be able to do any household chores. It's just, yeah. Fantastic. Very refreshing. Something completely different, but instead of going and sitting there, and you felt very participatory with everything. 
but I did enjoy your music. Did you? I love the venue. Uh, that's really cool. Yeah. And I particularly like the way that you're presenting it beautifully, but particularly that second song about the Magdalene Laundry and so on had a, a pretty heavy message in it, so that combo of a heavy message and, and a really catchy sort of song. Mm. Yeah. I, I enjoyed the mixture of um, electronic music and its um, you know, interest in feminism. I think it worked really well. Do you think the world needs a little bit of that right now? I think that you guys, I, I feel like you know, the first goers to the Cavern Club when the Beatles started, I feel like that sort of person. I think the world needs more of this and that it will get it because you guys are fantastic and will travel the world. <laughs> blessed. I feel blessed. It's a proud moment. Yeah. And, and that there's people like this that come to our town and entertain us. <laughs> did you enjoy the show? What did you think? I, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved the singing. I loved all the um, music and the mixing of the music and the whole shebang, the whole performance. Uh, I went through a few different emotions. So at the beginning when it all first started, I guess I was, I was just feeling you know, the feminine wound, I guess. So that was brought up, yeah, and and I got a you know a little bit teary, and then but it was good that you mingled the humour through it as well, and then but then at the end I, I felt the power rise a, a lot more, and yeah, I'm leaving feeling empowered and then happy, and yeah, so went through a few different emotions, so it was really good actually. I didn't expect it to be, for it to be so emotional. Yeah. Oh, from the workshop, I got a clearer idea. First, I thought you guys were just going to be banging irons on ironing boards, and it was, yeah, it was really confusing. But I'm glad I came. It was dynamic. It was just amazing, honestly. Great. Well, what do you think were the key messages that came out for you? Today? That came out for yeah. me. Oh, just. You guys just murdered the stereotype of what ironing is completely. <laughs> like, it's just, I see it in a whole different light. <laughs> yeah. It's just completely different. And it's really powerful, actually, because you're just, in all your music, even though you don't say it, you can still feel the um, message of just, like, this is not a woman's job. This is not what we're meant to do. This is a choice that we make to help you be grateful. Don't force us, you know what I mean? So it's good. It was great. I liked it. I couldn't have said that better. Yeah. Okay, well, it's definitely a commentary on gender roles within a patriarchal society. I would say that. But it's very tongue in cheek um, and it's very fun. The music is legitimately good, even if there wasn't a commentary going on. So that's awesome. You could get up and dance if you wanted to, I think. If, if there, there was, was more room. room. Yeah. <laughs> If you could get up during the show. <laughs> if you could stand, then you would. Um, yeah, and there are audio-visual elements. Uh, yeah, it's an immersive kind of thing. Um, yeah, I think you've got to come along and, and experience it for yourself. It is actually kind of a... Um, I felt a little emotional at one point. Did you? Yeah, I did. Can you tell me about that? Um, just because some of it's really unfair, and even though there are comedic elements... Yeah, some of it you just go, yeah, that's it's wrong, and that and it's true, and it's not not fair, and it's not right. Key messages as a little wrap up this is share the load. I love share it. Share the load. Get in, do the housework. There's only one word for it. Terrific. <laughs> you know, I'm so proud of it. It's almost indecent of me.